another another professional video the balance beam <clears throat> I'll have to do as best I can because really according to our home security network uh, we've been under attack for at least the last half hour oh here home security yeah tell them about it been barking your fool head off no idea figments we have a major uh, major siege by figments as near as I can tell in honor of the Olympics uh, I have actually have an Olympic story at least a, a, a story about an Olympic hopeful many years ago I think I was about 11 at the time Pat, uh, older brother, always prided himself in his balancing skills. He always had that innate sense of balance. He actually always knew where he was, too. I mean, north, south, east, west, you could put him anywhere, uh, a room he could point out north, south, east, west, uh, hunting. That came in handy when we were out hiking and hunting, that he always knew what direction it was. Uh, east and west was kind of easy for some people, although I still struggle with that. But uh, sorry, I've been having, I've had some gathered corn. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm making some production notes here, things not to do before I start uh, actually recording, and that that's actually in there now. Uh, do not eat corn on the cob just before you start making a video, because you'll be doing this a lot during the video itself. Oh. Uh, one of our uh, security team has actually left, and this is the other member of our security team, if you can see her in the window there. Backlight might mess that up, but that's uh, Kyra on the J-O-B. Anyway, our little beagle, she's fortunately using her inside beagle voice. Uh, back to the balance beam story. Uh, when we were living in, uh, in Wichita, oh, we haven't had the... Ah, ah, maybe that's, is that better? No, that's not better. <clears throat> we were living in Wichita when we first came to town in the, uh, I think what mom referred to as a three-room efficiency. I'm not sure exactly where that third room came in at. It might have been the minuscule kitchen, I don't know, because I, I remember a living room, I remember a bathroom, a minuscule kitchen, and a bathroom, and a bedroom. But it's it's hard for me to consider the kitchen actually as a uh, there must have been a dining area because I remember eating there at a table so it must have been bigger than what I remember. But it was tiny, tiny. Oh, that's the wrong story. <laughs> Although I do have some stories about that three-room efficiency. This was actually when we moved to Park City. And that, that's when I was actually 11, about 11 years old, I think, then. Anyway, and it's still typically small bathroom. And uh, Pat called me into the bathroom. Someone in there, the door was open. I could see him standing on the stool, so I kind of thought it probably wasn't a trap. I, I had been trapped in situations with him before like that, from where I was suckered into something. But anyway... Uh, he says, he said, I want you to watch what I can do. And I had heard some things in the other room, but really hadn't paid much attention. He said, I'm going to jump from the toilet over onto the edge of the tub. And just one jump, and I will just stand there, and he'd be, you know, got his hands out. I have my, you can't see my hands, but they'd be balanced. I said, well, that would be a, that would be a feat. It wasn't a huge jump. I mean, you know, six feet. So he uh, crouched and made his leap. And uh, <laughs> while he did actually land on that little narrow edge of the tub, uh, unfortunately he didn't quite have his balance like he wanted, so his hand shot up over his head. He grabbed the shower rod and ripped it out of the wall and the shower curtain and crashed into the tub. Uh, it was at just this time that... Our father walked into the room behind me, and I had actually stepped in a little bit, because I am laughing, because this is the funniest thing I have seen lately. 
and uh, I, I turn around and I, I'm pointing and uh, you see when a father walks into a room like that and there is uh, one older son in the bathtub with torn off pieces of the room in there meaning the shower rod was bent and down in the tub and tile had come off the wall and there was some you know collateral damage um, and the other son that would be me the younger middle son laughing loudly in the eyes of the of the father coming into the room you're guilty everyone in the room is guilty I actually got because I was laughing I actually got a worse whipping than what Pat got because uh, dad actually I think he tired himself out on, on me before he could get to Pat not that Pat didn't get one but I mean, his, his arms were getting tired by the time he'd waded through me and had to, you know, kind of get me out of the way while he was uh, wailing on me uh, just so we could get to the older brother, who was actually the perpetrator. And um, it didn't help the situation any that I couldn't stop laughing. That, that just kind of incited him even more that I was a guilty party. So kids, number one, kids, don't try this at home. And then I guess number two, the lesson here is, be careful when you're laughing at a sibling that has just gotten themselves into obviously a whole lot of trouble because if you take a somber or even a sad approach and, and look, you know, you might avoid getting a worse whipping than they did.